This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by HostGator. Well, how's it going there, Jeeves? It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to What's the Apps. I hope you guys had a fantabulous Halloween, and if you didn't celebrate Halloween, then I hope you guys had a fabulous October 31st. And if it happened to be your birthday that day, then uh, happy birthday. Today, we are gonna be focusing on an application in the productivity category, my favorite category. So, without further ado, just sit back, relax, and get ready for some WTA Wonderless goodness. Oh yes. I mentioned Wonderlist in a previous episode as an alternative to Remember the Milk. After that, I started using it and oh man, is it wonderful! Wonderful spelled with a U instead of an O because, you know, it's just like Wonderlist, there's a U in there. I did that because I'm so witty, smart, clever, and cool. Wonderlist is basically a cloud-based to-do and reminder system that can be accessed via your phone, tablet, laptop, and or desktop. The apps themselves are wonderfully designed, a simply scream of elegance and web 2.0-ness. I think I just made up a word right there. Tasks are very easy to add and customize under lists, which of course can be added, renamed, and or removed. The absolute best feature, okay, in my opinion, would be the ability to star items, which more or less works as a priority marker or a flag. Very handy in micro-organizing your items for your day. What I love about Wonderlist is how uniform all of the different platforms look, which really helps provide you with that sense that you're using one single application. However, once you strip away all them fancy designs and customizable backgrounds, oh wow, I got wood as my background, I'm so fancy fancy, you'll start seeing a few shortcomings. Firstly, one of the biggest things for me would be that the tasks do not have a due date by default. You gotta manually set that sucker. A very small thing, not a big deal at all, but, but sort of a big deal, especially considering that the badges only show do items versus, you know, all items. Secondly, you cannot set recurring items, meaning you can't set something to repeat every day or every week. It's a bit of a bummer for me because I like reminders right then and there to, you know, take out the trash, attend conference calls, or do my daily 33 minutes of hot yoga. This one isn't really a big deal for me, but Wonderlist doesn't support tags, which can can come in handy if you want to group certain items such as videos, errands, hamburger time, and so on. And speaking of that oh so subtle reference to a show called Metalocalypse, I'm gonna take some time to thank our friends at HostGator. HostGator can get your blog or website up and running in minutes with plans starting at just around four bucks a month. You get 24 seven support and access to website building tools with over 4,000 templates. Okay, they'll even migrate your current site over for free. Their servers are 130% powered by wind energy and you get unlimited disk space and bandwidth. Not to mention you also get a 45 day money back guarantee and also $100 in Google AdWords credit to market your website. For Rev3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to HostGator.com and enter in the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO at the checkout. Again, that's HostGator.com and the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. Techno as in the music and buffalo as in that big, wonderful furry animal. Back to the review. Overall, even though Wonderlist isn't as feature-packed as something like Remember the Milk, it's still an amazing app and platform. Unlike RTM, Wonderlist doesn't have a feature-restricted free version or an annual subscription-based pro version. You get all of the features for free. So with that, I'm gonna give this app a four out of five. And did I mention how pretty this application is? Man, is it gorgeous! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Wonderlist. And if there are any applications out there that you would like me to check out, let me know by commenting. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Latest.